Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to bounce letters in Adobe Illustrator with the touch type feature. And I'm going to first show you what I mean by bounce letters. So we'll be looking at some greeting cards and things like that. All right, let's get started. All right, so here are some examples of what I'm talking about. We've got um, bounce letters here. So the L is a little bit below, the A is above, the S looks a little rotated, and the T is maybe just in its normal position. So they kind of go up and down. You can kind of see how they're going up and down. And you can also tell that some pieces are rotated just to make it more whimsical. And it can also make it more cute and playful. It gives it a hand-drawn look too. Here's another card, a retirement card. And this is an example of regular type that has not been bounced. The retire area probably has been changed a little bit, but it doesn't have a very uh, significant bounce in the lettering. But down here in this script font, you've got a lot of bounce. Look how low the O is and the U is a lot higher. And then same with the V and the E. So someone took the time to really bounce this lettering, or it might even be hand lettering. That's something you can learn as a calligrapher is how to bounce your type to make it look really nice. Moving on to this birthday card. This one also, the P's are not on the same baseline. The Y has been raised a little bit. And there's just a lot of bounce going on here too. And then finally, this birthday card, you can see a lot of bounce in the letters here too. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly throw together a little card to show you how easy it is to get this effect. And the nice thing about it is you don't have to outline your text. All right, so let's start a new document. I'm gonna go Command N, that's Control N on a PC. And then I'm going to change points to inches and we'll change it to uh, seven by five. And we'll create. And now I'll hit T on my keyboard to get to my text tool. And I'm gonna click once and type happy. I'll change to my selection tool and I'll just make this a little bit bigger by holding shift and pulling on that corner. And now I'm gonna option drag to make a copy. I'll hit T to get my text tool again and click in there, select all with command A or control A, and then type birthday. And maybe we should center these. So I'm going to get my selection tool and select both. And we'll hit shift command C or shift control C on a PC to center them. You can also do this in your paragraph uh, panel right up here or go to window, type, and then paragraph if you don't have this panel showing. Okay, and we need one more line of type. I'm just going to option and drag this, and then I'll hit T, get inside there, Command A to select all, and I'll just type from all of us. Okay, get back on my selection tool, and I'm gonna click happy and from, whoa, got a little bit of a typo there. Happy and from all of us, and I like the font Breaking Bread, so I'm gonna change it to that font. And then birthday, I'm gonna make a different font. This one will be Mariska regular. And I'm gonna make this really big by holding shift and option and uh, pulling on a corner. Now option will make it resize from the center, which is pretty nice. Okay, I'm just gonna move these things down with my selection tool. And um, I'm liking this, but we need a little bit more. So I'm gonna hit B to get my brush tool. Um, I've got five point round here selected. If you don't have anything over here, you can load some brushes by going to the fly out coming down to open brush library, and then I usually choose artistic and maybe calligraphic. But anyway, I'm just gonna draw a little line right here and we'll draw another one right here. And then we'll have some down here too. So um, let me try that again. All right, so this is not, you know, 
obviously the best effort, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use the touch type tool. So we are going to bounce this birthday text. And to do that, I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to get to the selection tool. I'll click it once. And then I'm going to hit shift T and that'll bring us to our touch type tool, which is right over here. Now, if you click and hold, this is the same button that your type tool and all your other type tools are under. So if you need to find it, you can just click on your T, the big T, which is your type tool, and then just come down here to touch type or hit shift T on your keyboard. Okay, so let's start off with the B. Now to use the touch type tool, you're going to choose only one letter at a time. So I'm going to click on the B and we get this box. Now this is kind of cool because each one of these corners does a different thing. And then we've got this little uh, dot up here at the top, which does something else. So I'm going to walk you through what each of these things does. The top left one will resize it vertically. So you can squeeze your letter down if you wanted to do that. I hardly ever use this one when I'm bouncing type though. The upper right corner will resize the letter. I also rarely use this one. And then the bottom right will make it skinny or thick. And I also rarely use this one. The two things I use the most on the touch type are just clicking and dragging to move it around, move it up or down like this. And this rotate, which is the very top dot right here. So this causes it to rotate just like you see here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of rotate this B a little bit. Then we'll get on the I. I'm going to rotate that a little also and move it down. The R, I'm going to rotate a little bit, move it up. And the T, maybe also the same way, but a little lower. And you can see that it really adds a playfulness compared to these last four letters. These first four just seem really playful and fun. I'll click the H, rotate that a little bit and move it up. I like to keep kind of the space between them the same so that they look like they go together. And also you want to kind of have an imaginary baseline that goes across the whole word. You don't want to start having, you know, parts of the letter just kind of go up like that. So you want to keep that in mind as you're doing this. And you probably noticed as I move this letter, it affects the letter behind it. So if I move the H, it'll affect all the ones behind it. If I move it out like this, all these are moved out too. So it takes some getting used to. Okay, now I've probably rotated these letters quite a bit like a little too much maybe, but I wanted to give you an idea of how this all works. So it is pretty drastic. You might not want to go as drastic with your own text. So that's how to bounce your letters with touch type in Adobe Illustrator in a nutshell. And don't forget this is live type, so you can always change it in the future. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.